when you let your lower self drive the bus or you let that super villain drive the bus and it starts making the first decision, the second decision, the third decision, um, that's dangerous because now that becomes the louder voice of the two, you know, versus getting up early, conditioning your mind and body for success, you know, having a good protein shake to get yourself going, <laughs> hydrating all day, because again, you want to optimize the mind and body so that it's easier for that superhero to show up every morning. And when they show up every morning, they continue to run the day. However, if you do find yourself and that, you know, super villains nattering at you, it's also called the, the gremlin voice or the saboteur voice. Some people might call it the ego voice. There's different names for it. The goal isn't to push it down. The goal is to let it up and say, hey, I know you're there. I hear you and I will not be, you know, driven by you. I know you're there. I don't need you right now. You go back to bed and I'm going to call upon <laughs> my higher self. And so a fun little trick that we do in coaching is we give ourselves nicknames, Holly and or Julie. That is, we give ourselves nicknames where you want to name the lower self, right? And you want to give your uh, superhero a powerful name so that when this little gremlin, this little, you know, disturber shows up, you can identify it with a name, right? Oh, there's, you know, Tricky Trevor right instead of you know up here that might be clever trevor 